26 IPC. I get seven infantry, one artillery. Save a buck. So now we definitely want you. And we want you. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we've got one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seven, eight, nine. 14, 15, 16, 17 on 17. Whew. That is tight. He's got those 12 tanks. Let's see how this works out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot to add the fighters. Okay. Now we can see how this works out. Let's go. Well, that was easy. Ukraine is ours. Belarus is a little more questionable. Come on. Yes. Nice and easy. No hit back. All right. So let's see. That's 10, 15, 16, 17 on his 17. <laughs> so now... So if he comes in, he only has three infantry. He has no artillery. 12 tanks. Three fighters. And my defenders are eight infantry. Plus two artillery. Five tanks. And two fighters. Well, he actually has 18 on my 17. And he has a little more firepower than me. Not that much more, though. And I may have the curve on my side here. Let's calculate this. That's a 70% chance for him. He's got a 50% chance of conquering. He would lose... IPC. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give him a 50% chance, you know, a 60% chance on West Russia this early in the game. So let's dead zone it instead. Okay. 
I'm gonna put... What does he have here? He's got two... Six... Okay, so no, I'm not going to put really anything in a Kazakh. We'll just leave the one infantry and we'll put another infantry in Novosibirsk. If he wants to try to attack them both, I'll make him choose an assault. The fighters will do one each. Put two tanks in Moscow and three in Caucasus. The artillery we'll put in Moscow. Three more infantry. Okay, I think this is set up very well. Uh, of course, we don't have too much. Well, we do have the tanks. We have an artillery. We have, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. This is it. This is how we're doing it. Let's move on. Mobilization. Uh, the second artillery... We'll go in Ukraine with three infantry and the remaining four in Russia. Let's see what the Germans got in store for us. Looks interesting. Let's let's go over it. Two tanks, ten infantry. That's not a bad buy. Had to repair some damage. Ukraine, you got it free. Belarus, Russia, what happened there? Attackers lost two infantry. No losses for me. That sucks. That actually really sucks. That shouldn't have happened to him. Well, did he go? Yeah, he went with one fighter and two infantry. They should have at least got a hit. He put this in Archangel. It's interesting. It can be a problem for me. West Russia. He lost the unit there. Everything else is free. France, free. Poland, put an infantry in Baltic. He's got the AA in Archangel. And uh, Egypt. Mobilized in Germany. Put two infantry up in Karelia, too. So the UK, what do I want to do with the UK? I got this fleet here. He's got three fighters. So I could get myself into season five with the UK. Take Northwest and take Baltic and then the US can take uh, Karelia. Unless I go for France, get the income, three infantry, and the artillery. That might be better. That might be a better plan. More costly. Oh, I only have uh, three units this round. Hmm. Maybe the United States takes France. They'll have one, two, three. They also only have three. <laughs> well, they could have... 
One, two, three, four. They could have four. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And then in India... He's still not threatening India. Only one transport here. That's four, eight, nine. Where the hell are his fighters? Does he have no fighters? Just the four. Okay, the four and 61. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. We have another transport coming. We already have two, so I'm not going to purchase any more transports with the UK. Four for the UK, and then three for India. And then if we get a fighter. We can get a tank, sorry. Nope. Tank and an artillery. Okay, tank. Infantry. So Baltic, I want more. Put the tank in Baltic. One, two, three. Hmm, I have nowhere to land. Oh no, 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 no. Never mind. We'll put one fighter there and one fighter here. Because we'll put another fighter up in Scandinavia. And we'll go for Burma. Right, do I want a fighter for anything else? No, that works. That works. That definitely works. This submarine has... No purpose this round. All right, all right, so let's do this. May the dice gods be with us. Strong, strong, and strong. Let's see it. There it is. So Baltic's ours. For free. Now for Northwest. There's the hit. And we got it. Let's go for the clean sweep. Here's Burma. Come on, Burma. There it is. Yay, we got it for free. I will always take for free. I think season 53 is the only 
the only time I won't take it for free. It's all I could, the only time I could think of. Uh, the sub. Where does the sub go? 46? Gonna land the fighter in trans with this infantry. Land the fighter in India. Put a tank up in trans. What do we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could put an infantry in Persia too. Land these guys back in season five. Well, not back. But you know what I mean. They're going to season five, this fighter in Finland. Don't forget to bring up this cruiser in this transport. And we need the infantry and the tank to go with it. And I think that does it for our United Kingdom move. Well, let's go. Shiny new fighter. A shiny new tank. A nice artillery gun to shoot our eyes out with. Couple to India and the remaining up to UK. All right, let's see what Japan has in store for us. USA, round three. Japan purchased three tanks, three artillery, two infantry. They took some more free land, and they won a battle in Burma. There's season 61. Yunnan through an infantry in Anway. Oh, and an artillery. Okay. Sheshwan, a fighter in Germany. Okay. The mobilization. So the United States has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven transports. So we can make that eight, nine. We've got two coming back. These four, we'll take those eight. And we'll have one, two, we'll have an extra one. No, we won't, yeah, we won't. Because I'm going to use this transport to take France. So, yeah, we'll get rid of these. And we'll have one, two, coming back, two more. So we need eight. Hmm. 
make a couple of them artillery and we'll save a couple of bucks. So here we definitely want to take Corellia. We got a couple fighters. We could put the fighters in that fight. This infantry is just going to stay. This one in France. No, not come on. In season eight. Like, why would 14 be the default? I don't understand that. Hmm. You know what? I need the tank. I think this battle's fine without the tank. We even have a bomber and another fighter if we want. Battleship, a cruiser. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I would have to land in Algeria. But we can bring a couple of units to Algeria. That would be a good little win right there. We could send this fighter to Karelia. I think that's looking good. All right, let's do it. it. Says France is unlikely. Oh, 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 hold on. I have two fighters here that I'm supposed to bring. Silly. Strong. Come on, may the dice gods be with us. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. And he gets two. Of course. Okay. That works. Now for Karelia. Done. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Just wow. That's that's incredible. That is incredible. Let's at least kill this infantry. He is gone. Another hit back.
Endless hitbox. Let's bring you. All right, we'll take these two up to Finland. Gonna land these fighters in Finland. Yeah. Bring this transport back. It's defend C-Zone 8. It's the only... That doesn't even need to be defended. He has no threat. Virtually no threat. Bring a couple of infantry down to Morocco. This infantry could go up with these six infantry in Canada. We'll leave the destroyer in season 10. Bring this aircraft carrier up to season 10 also. I guess we didn't need the extra aircraft carrier. This destroyer put you in 64. Land this aircraft out in C-Zone 11. All right. The mobilization. Two more transports. A bunch of land units to go with them. Let's send it over to Soviets. Soviets. 